Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got folks taking a clap at Lil Nas X, man. The baby in rainbow colored hot water, man. You think he pissed the pool. T.I. coming with a shield for the baby. Boosie damn near shedding a tear and Snoop hits with bad news again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Yo, if this your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content. Yo, hit the subscribe button, notification bell on deck, and the whole nine yards. Your boy is pissed. Okay? You like, yo, what happened? Yo, you ever ask somebody a question that requires for them to pull out their phone? And they pull out their phone and you look at their screen and the joint got a whole big spider web crack all over the whole joint, man. Every time I see that, I'm like, yo, man, put your phone away. It's fine. I don't need directions. I don't need directions home. I right, get that fixed first before you even come and talk to me. Well, your boy's phone screen looks exactly like that. I'm pissed. Okay? But you ain't come for all that. So let's give you what you came for. First up, Dr. Boyce Watkins decided to provide his input on Lil Nas X's song and industry uh, and video, Industry Baby. No, I have not seen it and I haven't heard it, all right? But Boyce Watkins stated, quote, he's marketing the sexual irresponsibility that's causing young men to die from AIDS. Close quote, right? Open it back up. He continued on and said, being gay is one thing, but being a super spreader is another. There's nothing healthy or helpful about that video, especially for children. Close quote. Yeah, I think the video has like a bunch of dudes take a shower together and stuff like that. Something nasty. I don't know. I didn't watch the video, man. But I heard the joint is mad. You know, some people would say gay. You see what I'm saying? Um, I mean, that's what they say, man. Now, look, that statement, close quote. Now, that statement is facts, what Dr. Watkins said, okay? But Lil Nas X shot back and said, quote, y'all be silent as hell when ninjas dedicate their entire music catalog to rapping about sleeping with multiple women. But when I do anything remotely sexual, I'm being sexually irresponsible and causing more men to die from AIDS, close quote. I mean, open the damn, open the damn quote back up. Y'all hate gay people and don't hide it. Close quote. Now you can close it, right? What Nas said right there is also facts, okay? Look, the fact of what Lil Nas X said does not negate the fact of what Dr. Watkins said, man. Both are true. But the music industry has been marketing death to people for the longest. And yo, ain't none of this stuff new, man. You see what I'm saying? Yo, the baby made quite an impact at the Rolling Loud joint and said this. Yo, take a listen. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone like the uh. Lady, if you smell like water, put a cell phone like the uh. Fellas, lights up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking in the parking lot, put your cell phone like this. Let's be real about this. Yeah, keep it real. Tell me y'all suspect as a mom. Let's be real. That's right, it's gonna be one of them kind of shows today. That's quite the statement, ain't it? Look, if you ain't come with HIV or a deadly sexually transmitted disease that make you die in two or three weeks, put your cell phone lighters up. I, lo I love how he didn't just say STDs, including gonorrhea, herpes, syphilis, and all that other stuff. You see what I'm saying? Because that place would have been darker than a feather mucker. Now, you know folks weren't just going to let the baby walk off stage after saying all that, right? So folks started calling your boy, the baby, homophobic. Talking about, oh, he was on a rant. I hate that word, man. Rant. Right? Anyway, look, the baby responded by saying the following. Yo, take a listen. It's called a call to action. That's what that's called because I'm a live performer. I'm the best live performer. I'm the live show killer. You interact with your fans. You get what I'm saying? Look. All the lights went up, gay or straight, you wanna know why? Cause even they don't got A's. My gay fans, they take care of themselves. They ain't going for that. They ain't, they ain't no nasty gay. See what I'm saying? They ain't no junkies. You know what I'm saying? On the street, man, hell you talking about. Then I said, you ain't, cause my gay fans, they ain't got. They ain't going for that. They got class. They ain't sucking no dick in no parking lot. You got to get a room, a good one, five-star hotel for them that or got them. Yeah, you got to wait till they go to the doing no anything. Yeah, if they a fan of me, they got them. They on some big dog shit. We ain't just going for nothing. You know, even my gay fans got standards. Y'all tripping. 
y'all tripping y'all bringing negative deaths and the ones that's doing it is people who didn't even attend the show so this shit don't concern y'all at all see y'all y'all bitches who like to buddy in on on goddamn other people business and play superwoman and all that shit shut the disturbing my motherfucking gay fans and goddamn making them feel uncomfortable in they skin Cause you done got them seen some shit that you wasn't supposed to see anyway. You better thank Rolling Loud for streaming the shit. You ain't supposed to see that shit anyway. You ain't take the time or the or the energy or the dollar to bring your ass out there to the show. So you ain't supposed to get it. It ain't supposed to translate through a little six second clip on the cell phone. You see what I'm saying? That wasn't for y'all. Shit don't concern y'all. Shit concerning the that was dumb. Gay or straight or goddamn both. Or whatever, all that shit, man. Don't none of that shit matter to me. What matter to me when I'm on that stage is putting on the show for any and everybody that's out there. Hey, yo, your boy said, <laughs> this is what your boy, your boy said, my gay fans got class. They ain't in no parking lot. They get five star hotels. Really, fam? Really? Even my gay fans got standards, is what he said, right? Don't, he continued on to say, don't bring that kind of energy and make my gay fans uncomfortable. Is that what happened? Now, uh, T.I. came out, right? Like, I got something to say on that. And everybody was like, oh, shoot, Tip. Yo, where you been, fam? Folks has been looking for you. Never mind all that, right? Your boy T.I. co-signed on what the baby had to say, right? And uh, stated, quote, if Lil Nas X can kick his ish in peace, so should the baby. Hashtag equality, right? Close quote. You see that, man? You see how it's all tying back together, right? Look, folks could be so intolerant sometimes, man. People should be able to say and teach and preach whatever they desire, man, because tolerance is good. Oh, shout out to Jesus of Nazareth, the risen Lord and only savior of humanity. And the Bible, the only written word of God. Yo, be tolerant, y'all. Be tolerant. Be tolerant. Be tolerant. Okay? If Jesus says your actions is wrong, though, use wrong, fam. Okay? And, and that's that. Get your behind to get your ish together. You see what I'm saying? Tolerance, tolerance, tolerance. I'm hiding behind the flag of tolerance. I mean, you preach it, don't you? Your boy, let me do a shout out real quick. As you can hear, look, my phone is cracked, man. Ain't don't nothing else matter to me right now. You see what I'm saying? I don't see anything else but my cracked screen. And it's driving me insane. So let's go to the shout out. Do I have a shout out? LaShonda Mitchell, shout out to her. Shorty said, hey, celeb. My keys fell in my car. Your voice popped in my head. Keys said, what up? Right? Thank you for the content. And hey, look, man. Much love to you for that. Yo, uh, a lot of y'all been wondering where Keys has been, man. Keys has been on vacation with your boy. You see what I'm saying? I told you, man. Oh, my whole life is a vacation. Whether It, it doesn't matter what time it is, man. Because vacation is a state of mind, man. If, if, if you're just enjoying yourself, man. And wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're on vacation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Web White, who said, keep up the great work, celeb. And the source. And can't forget my ninja Keys, man. Very entertaining. Very informative man yo shout out to you for that man emmanuel elon shout out to you my man said i'm new to the channel i flow with your content i love your delivery and the kind of issue we talking about man just love fam and gino nut i don't know about your name but um i guess i can shout you out too you see what i'm saying matter of fact i have to shout you out you know why i, I mean i don't like that last name nut but hey, look man they got peanuts check this out though man my man is on his way to dialysis so i hope everything plays out well for you fam you see what i'm saying um, yo, let's get back to it, man, because your boy is, is very sad right now. Uh, check this out, man. Your boy Boosie sent out a bolo, right? <laughs> you like, ain't that that dude from Enter the Dragon? No, man, a bo be on the lookout, okay? Like an APB. Anyway, Boosie was in South Carolina. How much time I got here? All right, whatever. Boosie was in South Carolina, ready to put on a performance with Moneybag Yo at the Bone Secure Wellness Arena in Greenville, South Carolina. And he posted, quote, if you're in Greenville Mall, give me a green belt, the color of the message sign on the iPhone, right? Close quote. Open it back up. Bring it to the back gate at Arena Security. 
at, at the arena. Security will be waiting to let you in. Close quote, right? Making it sound like that they can, you can get in for free. Unfortunately, no one heeded the call of duty, and your boy has a video of himself walking through the arena with a green jacket. Ain't it summertime, man? Whenever I see somebody with a jacket on in the summertime, I'm like, this person is packing some serious firepower. Anyway, um, a green jacket is what he was running around uh, with, right? Uh, looking like they foreclosed on his home, and he captioned the video, quote, no belt, close quote. I think I know exactly what happened, man. Uh, see, a few weeks back, right, when his kids were spraying Big Freaky and all the other visitors with water at his house, he made them walk around his property as punishment. Y'all remember that? He probably told the kids he gonna take it back old school and this belt is gonna meet there behind. And the kids, consequently, hid the belt. I mean, that has to be what happened, man. Look, kids plot to kill their parents, man, through insanity. You follow what I'm saying? We misplace stuff. Our parents are like, yo, I know I left it right here. And now it disappeared. <laughs> That's right, dad. It disappeared. And finally. Hey, look, man, as you already know, right? Snoop Dogg's moms is in the hospital dealing with some health issues. You're like, what's wrong with her? None of your business, man. Anyway, he sent a photo of his mom's when he went to go visit her, posting, quote, happy Sunday, me and my brothers went to see mama today. And she opened up her eyes to see us and let us know she's still fighting. God is good. Thanks for all the prayers one day at a time, right? Close quote. Matter of fact, open it back up. Thank y'all for all your prayers. Gotta stay strong, keep pushing on. They say God don't put nothing on your shoulders you can't handle. I'm being tested right now, y'all. Make sure y'all pray for me and my family, close quote. In the name of Jesus. That's right, your boy gets into prayer mode every now and then, right? Uh, we praying for our dog, Snoop Dogg, and his brothers to stay strong. And we praying for his mom, Lord. And you will comfort her at this time. Um, in Jesus' name. You know your boy Celeb ain't afraid to drop a prayer for someone on YouTube, right? <laughs> uh, I hope you didn't think that's what it was. You see what I'm saying? You know, your boy got a YouTube channel that's like a, a completely Christian content. If you want to, you got to find it, though. You see what I'm saying? My face is on there and everything, man, but you got to look. You see what I'm saying? you like, what, what, what's it called? I mean, you know, just think of some of the questions you would want to ask a Christian. You see what I'm saying? Um, look, considering all the insanity that floods into your ears, man, this is the most least harmful thing you could be getting. You see what I'm saying? I told you before, the first group mentioned in Revelation for Hell are those too cowardly to stand for God and Christ. You follow what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, your boy don't play all that. That cowardly stuff that folks be playing out here in the streets. Anyway, you'll let us know what you think, man. Um, the baby's response concerning, uh, you know, being accused of being homophobic. What y'all think on that, man? I mean, do you think he skated his way out of that? You see what I'm saying? Um, why don't you, why don't you bring Lil Boosie a belt? You know the man needed it. And uh, Dr. Watkins coming at Lil Nas X. I guess that's a poor choice of words, but you know what I mean, right? What you think on that, man? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. See us on the Cash App. You know what to do. And um, see us on that backup channel, man. You know what it is. Celeb Source and the whole nine yards. Go check out the vids. We got some vids posted on there. And no, it ain't the same content. We try to tweak it a little bit because I wouldn't want to go to somebody's backup channel here the same exact thing. Right? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Um, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source for celeb news.